among the first communities to come back was the Vietnamese community. And I mean not only come back physically, but also come back in terms of being vibrant. The other thing that we found, which you know all too well, is that restaurants become the great gathering places, particularly at a point when folks don't have kitchens, when folks don't have access to supermarkets, and when folks also don't particularly want to be home alone, even in the context of a home that may not have been as badly damaged. The idea of going out to restaurants and seeing your old friends becomes a crucial part of the recovery process. The first good meal I had in New Orleans after the storm was at a place across the river called Nine Roses, a Vietnamese restaurant. And you know, they go in and they say, look, we don't have everything on the menu, but the menu's like 10 pages anyway. <laughs> Joanne Clevenger probably expressed it best when she talked about how folks would go from table to table in her restaurant. Every night she'd go there and see that. And there's a sense of finding people who you hadn't seen before over a meal. And restaurant meals, in a sense, are not communal. But in this context, restaurant meals became communal. And it's difficult to explain to people that snapping back when you and a few of your neighbors have a problem may not be so difficult. Snapping back when you and a couple of hundred thousand of your neighbors are having difficulty is that much more complex, that much more difficult. In part because it's not as if you can call friends and neighbors and tell them your problems because they got the exact same problems. There's a range of possibilities. The folks who uh, lost their homes, or the folks who didn't lose their homes that are fighting with the insurance company. They're the folks who didn't lose their homes, didn't need any insurance money, but got to put the kids in school somewhere. They're the couples for whom one was able to return to their job in New Orleans and one couldn't. They're the folks who managed to find decent lives in other places and have to make the decision about whether or not they want to continue those lives in other places or try to come back here and invest in the city. And it's a difficult place to live under the best of circumstances. As a result of coastal erosion, hurricanes have become more dangerous than ever before. That's a big part of the message. It's very difficult to communicate nationally. So our notion is that this is not simply a local problem. This is not simply some folks from Louisiana trying to ask the federal government to give us more than our fair share of the national treasury. This is about us saying that there are problems of national significance here. And despite the fact that we have earned a reputation for a great deal of corruption and a great deal of, um, of a bon vivant approach to life, we didn't build those levees. We're thankful to folks like y'all who come down here because only in seeing this firsthand can you really appreciate the magnitude of what we're dealing with. And what's striking to me is how quickly and thoroughly the restaurant folks have gotten it and how difficult it has been to get that message to other people. The kinds of person-to-person -person things that Share Our Strength and Union Square have been able to do has been immeasurable in terms of what it has done to the psyche of people here, what it has done to convince people that we can indeed move forward.